So I have been seeing more and more people do this kind of 3D user interface. Uh, people just really like this kind of rounded, soft 3D effect, and I wanted to see how we could do it in Excel. Turns out we can. I'm just gonna walk you through the process so you can do it yourself. Anybody can do this. It's nothing too crazy or advanced. So under the Insert tab, we're gonna drop in a rounded rectangle. If you double click on that rounded rectangle in the formatting pane, you can give it a fill color that matches the background. In this case, we're just giving it a, uh, a slightly off-white gray color. In this example, you don't want it to be a pure white color because we need to have a bright highlight on one side. So you're gonna use just something slightly darker than like a pure titanium white. And then we're also gonna get rid of that outline. Now, if you look over here in the formatting tab, click this effects button in the middle. Under the shadow dropdown, you're gonna put in a shadow. In this case, we want one where the shadow's falling to the left of the shape. So what I'm gonna do on this is I'm gonna make the distance 15 points. I'm going to make the blur 15 points. And I'm going to get this transparency up to like 90. <laughs> All right, this is looking good. So we're going to copy paste the shape now. We're going to click into the copy, turn it to a solid white color. We're going to remove the shadow. And under the effects menu, we're going to go to soft edges. And we're going to turn this up to maybe around an 8, maybe a 10. You got to kind of test it out. Now we're going to click on our original shape, right click and hit bring to front. We're going to drag our blurry shape behind it. And now we're just going to adjust the size of that blurry shape so that it kind of matches up with the shadow in the background. You'll see what I mean when you try this. Great, and then when they align, you've got your effect. And obviously you can stack these on top of each other, right? I've done one in the background and one on top of it. And then a little bonus trick, when you insert your charts on top of these, in your charts, when you click into them, you can also add a drop shadow on them, just under that same shadow menu. And that's gonna really give that, that cool three-dimensional effect that people seem to like with this. And there you go, we've done it all in Excel. It's just as easy here as it would be in PowerPoint or any other tool. And these kinds of things can be a really fun trick if you want to make your spreadsheet really really stand out from the crowd hope that's helpful if you have any questions let me know in the comments and if you haven't already you can hop on the newsletter where i send out templates like this each week just to help people kind of learn how to do this stuff themselves it's totally free all right thanks everybody have a great week bye